How do your guides help you? So we have guides that help us. Spiritual guides. We all have them. What are they? Everyone has guides. A lot of people in the spiritual scene want, scene want to talk to their guides. They want to physically talk to them. I understand it. I get it. Everyone wants this. Let's be real. At the same time, though. Now, we have guides, and we learn to drive. We're given guides to help us learn how to drive. If we want to do a new venture, we're given guides for that. If we want to start a business, we're given guidance for that. Guides help us in a multitude of ways. The things are is that our guides are always talking to us. The question becomes, are we listening to what they're telling us? It's like a million times you've heard, or you think in your mind at least, you know what to do, but you're not doing it. Your guides are telling you what to do. It's just, are you listening to what they're saying? So if you had a full-on communication with your guides, would you be willing to take the next step in what they're asking you to do? A lot of times we're fighting what our guides are telling us. Now some of the most successful people are actually listening to what their guides are telling them. Now there's all kinds of levels of guides, that will be a whole nother video. At the same time, we all have guides. They're all helping us. They're all making us try to get to an, the next level, whether that's spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, what we're eating, what we're doing with our lives. Maybe there's behaviors that you know you shouldn't be doing, but your guides are telling you you shouldn't be doing them, but you're doing them anyways. So your guides don't run the show. You run the show. You run the show. It's up to you what you want to do. This is what's important. It's up to you. So what do you want to do next with your life? That's what's important. You have to listen to what your guides are telling you. You can say no. You can say no when you get this brilliant idea to do something. You can be in fear, which is fine. We're all in fear at times. At the same time, it's important for us to remember that our guides are helping us. And there's many ways to work with your guides. There's many ways to talk to your guides. There's many ways to interact with your guides. Even doing these YouTube videos, or lives, or whatever, my guides prompt me to do them. Have I been listening the whole time? No. Am I listening now? Yes. And there's no right or wrong to this. It's just a simple matter of perception. Are we willing to do what we are being told to do? Because they can guide us. It's guidance. Guidance. And with guidance, it's a whole nother understanding that we have to look at. What are they telling us to do and are we doing it? Because we all know what we need to do. People spiritually want to physically talk to their guides. They want to become a medium. They want to become a trans channel. They want to become a channel. We're all channeling anyways. They want to do this. They want to become a healer. They want to do this. They want to do that. Listen to what your guides are telling you. Because maybe you're not ready to do that. Maybe there's some internal work you have to do. Maybe you need to get some teachings from other people. Maybe you need an attunement to a, some kind of spiritual healing technique. It is what it is. Still, what's your next step? Your guides are helping you. Believe me, they're there for you and they're helping you. So what's your next step in the process? What's important to you? I feel like this is the most important message to give you. Are you listening or are you not listening? Because guides are all around us, just like this. People can pick up energy. I'm calling in my guides. You, they're all around me right now. Point is, is that it is what it is. It's time to start listening. Follow where you need to go. My name's Thomas Sawyer. Have a beautiful day.